Good evening everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick video on a black eyed pea soup that I make for my family. And the kids seem to like it. Right? Right kids? You guys like it? Anna has about, let's say, two, three bowls and my son has, how many bowls do you eat? One bowl. He eats one big hearty bowl. So this is kid friendly. It is vegan. It is oil free. It is adapted from several of the recipes that come from the book Four Over Knives. <laughs> so stay tuned and let's see how it's made. So the first thing you're going to need is your black eyed peas and I get these from a farm. I will put the link on where I get them from. These have been soaking for about four hours. You don't have to soak them but I do. It's three, about three to four cups of dried black eyed peas, this is what they look like. Then you're going to need about two cups of um, celery, three cups of carrots, and then one whole onion. And you can play with these depending on how many vegetables you want in your soup. We like ours really hearty and lots of veggies. So this is a good amount. If you're going to half the recipe, then you half it exactly down the middle. Then we're going to use about one tablespoon of garlic and about a quarter cup of parsley. So all these ingredients you can adapt to your likings. Then I'm going to use pepper, palmy chopped tomatoes and these I get because they are as organic as can get. It doesn't say it on the packaging but plus there's only five grams of sodium, milligrams of sodium. Where all the other ones, it's about 200. And I've done research on this company. I buy it in bulk. I buy about 20 of these cartons on Vitacost. And I get a darn good deal. It's like buy one, get one 50% off. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of this, which is better than bouillon, and it is vegan. As you can see so that is why I am not using salt because there is sodium in this and I'm going to use the, you know one teaspoon of that and then at the very end a trick that Greek people you know do is they put a little bit of vinegar in there so I'm using apple cider vinegar but you can use red wine vinegar or really any vinegar you have so those are the ingredients and then you're going to need the last is about between six and eight cups of water. Let's start. So since I'm not using any oil, gotta kind of work quick. So I'm gonna first put my onions in my hot pan. Then I'm gonna pour the rest of my veggies in. No oil at all in this recipe. In the Greek cookbooks, it'll say one cup, some even say two cups of oil in here, but all you need is a little bit of water and you're good. And this is for the knife, you know, the China Seti cookbook. This is, you know, Dr. Usselstein. It's basically how you want to do it. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water, just let it get started. Just mix it up. So I usually let this cook for about 10 minutes. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes and see what it looks like. It's been about 3 or 4 minutes and I'm going to add my parsley. Forgot to add it the first time. Now you don't want to put too much parsley in. I've done it a couple times where I just put way too much parsley in and it just completely dominates the flavor. So just keep it to a quarter cup. I wouldn't put more than that. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and I haven't added any water and right now I'm going to add my pepper. I'm going to add about one teaspoon of pepper. 
and I'm going to mix that around. And as you can see, my veggies are limp. They are, you know, basically steamed, you could say. Once that pepper just hits it, oh, it smells so yummy. Now I'm going to add my beans. And I've noticed that the fresher the beans are, the more delicious your soups will be. And the beans in the store, unless they have a date when they were harvested, you don't know how long they've been sitting there. They could have been sitting there for a couple of years. So these beans that I get are nine months or younger. And the farm I use is Chacha Stop. Right here. There. Keep on back. I usually buy like twice a year. I get a ton of them. A bulk. And they're delicious. Better than Rancho Gordo, I would say. So I'm just going to mix this up, let it get all warm, and as you can see, our soup is starting to take form. Now, I'm going to add my tomatoes. If you have fresh, that's wonderful. Use them. Or any canned tomatoes. San Marzano's, you just crush them up with your hand. Just going to mix this up. Now this is about two days worth, maybe two days worth, because we eat so much of it. And it is just delish. And now I'm going to also add my water. Now you can heat it up. I just put it on the burner to heat up a little bit. But the goal is to get it where it's above the beans. And you may have to add more. That was six cups of water. I'm going to add two more cups right now. Perfect. And I'm going to let it cover it and let it sit for about 15 minutes until it starts boiling. So we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and I'm going to see how it's going. Oh, yeah. So it is starting to boil, and we're going to give it a good mix. The house smells delish. And right now, when it's warm, I'm going to add my bouillon. And I love these bouillons. I'm going to add about a teaspoon or whatever you say that is. Teaspoon, tablespoon, and... Put that in there. Give it a good mix. This is going to be delicious. Mm, just the celery and the carrots. I found that when I stopped using oil, I could actually taste the carrot and taste the celery and taste the onion and taste all the beautiful vegetables and just it just tastes so much better than it did with oil so we're gonna lower this put it on low and let it cook with the top on for about 20 to 30 minutes so it's been 20 minutes and we're gonna check on our soup wow that looks awesome Mmm, smells absolutely delicious. Just delicious. We're going to cover it and let it continue boiling for another 20 minutes. So it's been another 20 minutes and let's see how it looks. Everything is looking awesome. Just delicious. The beans look cooked. And right now I'm going to add my vinegar. And I would say about a quarter cup of vinegar. Just going to mix that up and let that cook with the top off. 
Ooh, it smells so good. For about two minutes or so. And when that cooks, the soup is done. And ready to be served. So we'll be back in a few minutes to serve it up. Okay, it's finished. It is dished up. It is absolutely delicious. You can taste every little detail of it. It is awesome. And then for a side, I have some baked beets that I did in the oven earlier with just a little bit of balsamic vinegar and they are absolutely delicious. Mm -mm -mm. And then for the kids, they can dip this bread that we made this morning. So, this is the five minute artisan bread by the way. So, I mean, this whole meal is absolutely delicious, oil free. If you notice, there's no pool of oil on top. So, I mean, it is awesome. We're gonna be eating for two days. So, thanks for watching and I hope this recipe fills your belly and makes you happy. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.